M0 FXP. So we've got a problem with um, sort of RF feedback coming into the ICOM 7300 when I'm connecting to FT8 and it's coming straight from the, the computer lead. So someone's recommended a lead for me to use. So I've got this lead, I'll show you the lead, then we'll connect it and we'll give it a test. So here's the lead, it was £5.21 on Amazon Prime and it's a trip light USB uh, 1.8 meter 2.0 high speed cable with ferrite chokes so we're going to give it a go and see if it makes any difference at all let's uh get it out of the packaging and um, the good thing about amazon is if, if i don't like it i can send it back so there you go looks good quality to me let's get out of the packaging the one I've got is a bit short as well, so they do these in twice that they do these in twice the length. So let's uh, let's get it connected. So there's your ferrite rings, and so for the seven three hundred, it's a USB and it's this kind of connector. Let's go to the radio. Okay, let's get the uh, the lead in there. That it's just uh, a normal printer one. These pop that in, then we'll get the radio back into place and connect it to the PC. Right, we're here at the radio. We haven't fired up WJSTX yet, and at the moment the lead is not connected. We've got the RF gain at the top, which I don't normally do that. The antenna, just so you know, is a G5. RV. So the next thing is to just, I'm just going to plug it into my PC and let's see if we can see a difference. Right, it's plugged in the PC. Now, if you did see a difference, we'll see that when I go back in the video. Possible, but not massive. Now, the real test would be to plug in the old lead and see if we see a difference, wouldn't it? Let's, we'll try that in a sec. Right, so we've plugged the old lead back in. It's plugged in right now. Let's unplug it from behind. Can you see how the scope immediately gets quite a lot darker? Now, I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to plug the new lead in live. The old lead did have some chokes on there, but um, they were just the cheap ones from China. They didn't really make any difference. Right, we've actually got the lead plugged in now. The new lead. Let's uh, unplug it. And see how much difference you get. You still get some difference. So it's a bit of a tough one to decide if there's a much difference between the two. I'll plug it back in. Right, it's back in. Yeah. Didn't really see much of a difference there. Maybe I'm moving too fast. So let's unplug it again. Oh yeah, you can see the difference there. Well, I don't think it's, it's not massive. I think it was worse before. Right, okay. So what we're gonna do, well, it's back in now. I don't think it's that bad. You know, look, the RF is going to make a big difference. And the other thing with the, with this radio, you just push the ref button there. And that just changes the RF just on the scope. See that? So let's, uh, let's just see, let's actually use it on FT8. So the next part of the video will be me using FT8. Okay, well, just setting up the radio for FT8 and uh, 
Uh, this is this radio has got the 1.4 version firmware, so it's the newest version with all the scroll features. I'll just take you through my uh, menu settings. So you go menu set. I I've, I've tried the preset one, but it it doesn't work for me. So I'm just going to show you my my settings. So we'll go to connectors first. Start at the top. AF fifty off off fifty fifty fifty. Then data off mode is USB. Data mod is USB. I haven't touched any of this. C USB is CIV, so I haven't touched any of this from the from re resetting the radio. Uh, I'll just go to the CIV section. So board rate is auto. CIV address ninety four point H. CIV transceive on. Remote transceive zero zero H. CIV output for antenna off. CIV USB port link to remote. I'll just go back through them slowly. The 94H thing I think is important, and the auto is what works for me. Um, so that's pretty much everything, isn't it? I've set the power at the moment to 15 watts, made sure the antenna's tuned. And so let's, uh, well, I know I know it is working on the computer, so I'll just show you before we do switch to the computer that you were, uh, you do need to sort of make sure that when you're in transmit mode, I'll just put it onto transmit now. Well, I'll select tune on the rate on the WJTS TX software and see the way it's tuned. And now look at the sort of out here. You need to get the out so that the you only get like one bar. So if I move the power on the FT8 up a bit. See the way you've got about seven bars, so I'll go down a bit, and I'll, I'll show you doing it um, in a sec anyway, but just to sh let you know that when you're in the right position, see that you've just got one little blue one sewing there, and it's not a great uh, to see. I'll just try and tune in. I've got too much glare here. So there's blue. See the little blue here? You, don't, you basically don't want the ALC too high. So, uh, right, let's go to the computer.